Welcome back, my friends. My name is Eric. This is Mel7 Gaming. We're back with some more Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries. We are going to continue to try the um, endgame missions, right? So I've flown us a ways. I figured there had to be something over on this side. So I, I, there's not much in the middle here, though, which is a little... Why is there not something here, you know, and something here? Um, but there's not. <laughs> At least not when you play the campaign. But we found two um, battleground in-ground mission, in-game missions. So we're going to... This one is for periphery against Kirita. Uh, this one is against independent. It doesn't really matter to us at this point. Um, we're just doing them to do them. Um, battle mechs are almost done. Um, pilots should be all healthy again. I don't have anybody that's injured anymore. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at this contract. In-game battleground. Uh, at night in the smoke. Yeah, no. I think... I think we're going to pass on that one just because I think you want to be able to actually see the mission. Uh, and of course, we have to challenge all the way around. Might be nice if there's a way to kind of up the range of your leopard. So you could, you could speed up travel a little bit. All right. Um, In-game battleground. <sighs> night and a snowstorm. All right. You have your choice. <laughs> Of which no, I, this is this is a small bitch, but it seems like once you start to add the missions, once you throw coyotes and then you throw um, uh, Vaughn's in, the visibility goes away, um, which is fine-ish if you're playing by yourself. But when I'm trying to record it and you guys are trying to see, it's a it's a right pain in the ass. I wish there were more daytime, more I can actually... Because I don't think reduced vision adds anything to the game. Um, a little bit of immersion here and there to jump into a snowstorm. Um, but not really. I mean, I guess you could play... If there was more variability in, say, sensor range, like where some mechs just have like no sensor range, like they've got two or 300, and so if they can't see it, they can't shoot it. Um, that would be interesting, but I don't see how you'd build that into the AI very well. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. I think it's mostly just an immersion thing, but it's immersion thing who wears off really quickly for me. Um, that's my opinion. Take a little bit. We'll confirm that. It'll compromise your visibility. I don't remember. Let's just jump in with this is the large laser um, Inferno missile. We'll see how that goes. Oh, another defense on a battle zone. Great. Are all the Coyote Kid, if you see this, are all of your battle zone missions actually defense missions? I would like to know so I can just avoid them. Like, if they're not actually going to be a battle zone, if they're just going to be a defense mission, then let me know that they're just a defense mission. I mean, I don't hate this. I guess there's not a lot of thing. Or tell me it's the grab two keys. Like, come up with a name for this type of mission. So I don't go into it expecting one thing. Um, and find out it's something else. Oh, hold on. None of my weapon groups are set. Well, they are here, but they're not there. That's another kind of weird... And let's just do that, that... Oops, hold on. That one didn't stick. Oh, they didn't stick at all. Um, nice. Apply. Resume. Which leg is it do I need to kill? There we go. Next one's up there somewhere. Okay. Um, I guess if we take off your leg, you're not going to be able to chase me as well. I'm just going to leave you for everybody else to kill. All right. What do we got going on over here? Is this guy dead yet? Not yet, but he's close. He's already taken a headshot. That'd be great. You hop in the mission, you fail instantly because because uh, the bad guy or the good guy got headshot. How far away is he? Uh, he's not super far away. Hopefully we'll get there. Uh, this blackjack will be on top of soon. He's He seems to be running away from the fight. He's just trying to get range. He says, hey, I'm a, I'm a rangy mech. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm doing the right thing. 
Put some shots in on that champion. I'm just mostly trying to distract people from shooting the guy they I don't want to die. Yep. No use dying over. See, that's the thing. When they die so fast, you don't actually there's like no possible way to win that mission. Um, it was just dumb luck. I'm not a fan of that either. Give me a mission. I understand in real combat, dumb luck plays a huge part of what's going to happen. But don't don't give me a mission where there's a strong chance nothing I do is going to change anything. Right? Um, now you can say, well, you can go with lighter, faster max, but you know what? This is a difficulty 250, 400 ton lance. The odds of you surviving with a significantly lighter mech um, are slim. They really are. I think this is the best balance we came where we've got uh, 100 ton mechs that have um, slightly bigger engines, right? Where we've got a little bit more speed. We're running it at the speed of a heavy mech, not the speed of an assault mech. Um, if we were in this with Annie's, Neither of these battle zone missions would be doable at all. There'd be absolutely no way for us to close the distance, you know, at 32 kph um, before these guys died. Uh, they need to be left a little bit farther out of contact. Um, I don't mind them getting swarmed, but but the initial starting spots probably need to start farther away um, so that they have a chance, so they have a stronger chance of surviving until you get there. Um, because we didn't, we didn't waste time. It's not like we we dilly dallied around. We put a couple shots in on our way out, and then we ran the other direction, um, and he was already dead. Like I said, he'd already taken a headshot before, um, before we even, you know, had a chance to do anything. And I don't know how he died. Um, it's possible it was a headshot, but at that point he was he was mobbed. Um, or potentially just make the balance a little bit more equal. You know what I'm saying? Let's try this again. Yeah, we're coming. We're coming, dude. And again, let me check my weapon groups, which are not the same here as they were there. Uh, don't know why that is. If they're... They should be... Whatever they're set for here, they need to be down there. So that's a bug. That's probably a YAML bug, if I'm guessing. But I don't really know for sure. All right, let's see if we can get up here and do something. Is that guy going to peek? No. There he goes. Now the nice thing is these guns are up top, right? So we can uh, we get good good peak range with them, right? Ah, we didn't get very many on him. Did we just shoot in where they're stacked up on top of each other? And I'm just going to uh, maybe I'll put him in some more. Oh, down he goes. And we're just gonna keep going. We're not gonna. We're not gonna slow down. Have you taken a headshot? You've already lost an arm. This is one yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, versus three, and a tank. Uh, we've got a couple tanks there. You're working on the building already. You're also kind of working on the building. Let's see. Can we? There's a leg gone. We can do some damage to you on our way through on our trying to. You took a headshot too. I think we just missed him all the way around. I don't think we're going to get there. I don't think this one's doable. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope. Nope. I'm gonna just kind of say these missions, um... While there's a chance you can do them, there's no argument there. Um, that chance is not dependent on your skill. Just the map we got is, um... Just sheer dumb luck. And I'm willing to say that even at our speed, realistically, our chance at completing this with an assault lance 
is somewhere probably closer to 10%. Um, you know, if that luck chance was closer to 80%, you know, there was still a chance it wasn't going to happen. I'd be like, oh, okay. You know, once in a while you just get unlucky. Um, there's nothing we can do there. There's nothing faster. There's, there's no, there's no win there. So, so far, Coyote, <laughs> you're batting, you're batting zero here or a thousand, depending on how you do it. You're pitching a no hitter. Um, you haven't given us a mission. That's not true. The last one we did in the other zone was doable, um, I think. Um, not with the loadout we had, but with a loadout tune specifically for that mission, it was doable. Um, but that's kind of where we're at at the moment. Um, we've seen more not doable than doable. Um, we may as well go up and try the other one as long as we're here. See if we get a better map, even though it's also going to be in the dark. What's the point... Von Seiten, maybe you can answer this. What's the point of designing a really cool map that you then can't see because there's 8 billion different weather things and it's only in the dark, right? It's snowing in a volcanic eruption, in a blizzard, you know, with a sandstorm, you know, on the, on the outer planet of the, of the system, you know, at night, you know, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, hey, look at this amazing map that you can't see. Um, this, night full of smoke. <laughs> on a black map. I mean, I just... Mm, I'm struggling on some of these. Uh, Careful, it's... Commander. The sensors are malfunctioning due to the weather, and your visibility on this mission will be compromised yep. as well. Yep. Now, you can go, I understand, you can definitely flip over to the night vision. Um, but again, what's the point of designing a really cool-looking map if you're then going to turn it off to use night vision? Or, you know, to use the thermal vision? Predator vision, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, you spend all this time on the colors and the details and, you know, the lighting and that. And then you go, yeah, but the only way to legitimately play the game um, is to flip on the thermal vision. And so <sighs> give us some more bright light options. Um, you know, some beautiful dawns, some nice sunsets, you know, a little haze, you know, to give you a cooler sunset, fine. You know, smoking volcanoes in the background, great, you know. Um, but like solid, everything's in the dark is not as much fun for me. Now, maybe that's just me. Um, and maybe it wears off on me because I spend more time playing this game than the vast majority of other people. Um, I've, I've got to be in the 99th percentile, right, for hours played on this thing. So it may be, that may be it. It may just not be for me, right? That may be the, the end. The, uh, that might be the answer to that. Uh, it's going to be the exact same thing. Okay, how far is he? Are there two of them? Uh, they're both a thousand away. They're both surrounded. Um, they're nowhere near each other. Uh, I guess we go for this guy first and hope. We can't even put shots on him. Let's see if he's, he's at least in an atlas. So he's got a slightly better chance of surviving than the last guy did. Uh, you were in a Highlander. Okay, you're doing okay for the moment. Let's see if we get lucky. We're 700 away. We might have a chance. He doesn't appear to be completely overwhelmed at the moment. Uh, they're strung out a little bit. Unfortunately, he is moving away from that guy. Which is going to make things a little more difficult. He's, actually, there he goes. He's moving back. What type of shape is he in now? Okay. And my weapons. God damn it. And again, they're different than what they are there, which is annoying. Understand, these are kind of been bitch sessions. That's not what I intend them to be, for sure. Okay. Now we're just going to have to bail and ignore you for a little while. We'll see how much damage we can do on the way out. But we gotta, we gotta instantly go start working that direction. Uh, how about you? Mostly missed with those. All right, you're shut down too. Our heat's critical. We're just gonna keep going. Uh, okay, that Highlander's in good shape. 
They appear to be winning this one up here. Nice. Looks like everybody collapsed down. That atlas is almost done. Oh wait, hopefully we can come up here. All right, where's the base? Down here. All right, the fight doesn't appear to be at the base at the moment, so I'm gonna kind of wrap this way, I think. And we'll kind of loop around. My fear is if we don't help these guys at all, they're all gonna die. And I can't see anything. Try not to step on the tank. Oh, we do have somebody behind us, don't we? He's going to sneak out there. All right, I'm going to put our guys kind of here-ish. And then I'm going to retreat into the city here. And see what we can get. Somebody's taking some shots at me. That's fine. I'm gonna step into here. Maybe we can. Maybe we can. We can plink with the large lasers from here. As we do this, I'm gonna go to night vision. New target All right, we've got the range to reach out that far. Uh, we hit the top of him? No. Back to you. Definitely reach out and get you. How are you doing? Root back around, put a couple more shots on you. Where's that guy? Uh, is he back there? There he is. Let's see if we can finish him. Forty-four percent. There's some melee mechs out there somewhere, huh? Brewster here. Dogger, he blew up good. There's one of those melee mechs. There's another one. Yeah, you're struggling. Sorry about that, Bellinger. You can come in for me so I can get some missiles on you. Well, we lost Gator. He's already hot. Another B. Oh, can I get missiles on him? Nah, they're just. You won't get missiles on. Okay, heat's an issue. All right, out we go. Let's get into this thing. You're close enough to get missiles on. Let's shut you down. Get into your back. Working on it, working on it. Uh, I can't get the shot. Give me the shot. He's just like, how do I stay exactly in front of you the whole time without ever giving you the shot? All right, what do we got over here? Okay, let's get some heat on you. Got an ammo explosion, I think. We're out of we're out of SRM ammo. Uh, let's hope we can get in the back of that thug and finish him. But he hadn't really taken any damage yet. Okay. You're done. Is anybody else kind of close that we can finish off? 
like paper. Oh, here. Here, you're right here. Let's, let's... Target destroyed. Target acquired. Let's try to get rid of some of these tanks. In the in the probably vain hope that they're easier to kill. All right, we're doing we're doing okay. That Doug's got a lot of armor. We're down two crabs already. Uh, we're gonna ignore all of them for the moment. Oh, you are just about. Can can I get a shot on you? Ouch. All right, got you. Are you shootable if I can get around that rock? Got ya. you. Take off an arm, maybe? Just about, just about. Need the other arm. Just like to ignore you. Okay, for the most part. Except I'm close enough for those machine guns. Been working on that thug for a while. He's just about down. God, they got a lot of armor on him. And just enough firepower that you can't really ignore him, you know what I'm saying? All right, so he's done. Uh, you're too far away to worry about. Let's see if we can finish you off. You're down. Stalker. I guess the Stalker's next. Oliver's still in there in the Kaiju. He's it. I don't know if he's got guns left. Trying to take off. Okay, there we go. Can we get rid of the. Uh, we don't want to. We want to be back farther for him. The problem is he's going to hide behind the rocks. All right. I'm going to kind of rotate this way. Another thug. Hatamoto's out there. Let's go back to this. Are any of you killable? Really just the Hatamoto and he's hiding. Sir, I'm seeing stars. This leg shouldn't last much longer. New target, stalker, target acquired. Okay. Stuck on the rock. That was too easy. Just shot a rock. I don't know, did we do anything to you? Yeah, we got into that back a little bit. Both shoulders are just about ready to go. Get rid of that last arm. Okay. I'm gonna hopefully try to wrap through these rocks here to get away from that guy for a second and see if we can get around here where that Hatamoto has finally come back out of the city. Just us. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Is anybody killable? Somewhere there's that stalker, right? Oh yeah, there's there's a lot left. 
There's a lot left. Let's see. Uh, you're perfect. Yeah, this one is not going to go well for us. Charger in there. Uh, well, our friend Sokso -so gets the fact that he came through. Can we finish you off? Is it just me left out here? Am I the only one? Uh, almost. Let's see if we can take off arms. Can we, can we target the guy in front of me? Nearest target should target the nearest guy. There we go. There we go. Let's see if we can, see if we can start to take care of some arms. There we go. Try to take off weapons. All right. All right. Promise he's also got those SRMs. I think we're done. I think we're done, guys. I put some more damage into you. Maybe right, what type of condition? You're in good condition. He's just being smart and running away. I'm trying to get back to where maybe I get some support, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Oh, no, you're not the one I thought you were. Uh, I don't know where the one I was beating up on is anymore. He's he's wandered off. Oh, that was a terrible shot, Eric. That was a terrible shot. He had the one Kintaro that we'd kind of opened up. But, uh... We kind of brushed his face. Is he not dead yet? Nope. Ah! Overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. Well, doable or not, I don't know. Not by me. Um, this may be one of those things you kind of have to run clan mechs if you want to get through. I mean, you might need the additional speed and firepower to run clan mechs. And maybe that's the goal. Maybe that's the whole point. Maybe it's not meant to be done with standard intersphere mechs. Maybe it's meant to be a full kind of clan mech, clan tech type of challenge. Um, let me know down below how many of y'all have been able to come in here and successfully knock out these in-game missions with intersphere mechs without clan stuff. Just kind of straight YAML, um, you know, the way we're going. Um, I'm interested in what we did. 3,200 damage. Look at that. Oliver fought to the end. Holy crap. Legs and arms all gone. Birch died. Bellinger. Oh my god. The only thing left on Bellinger was the cockpit a little bit. There was like just a little bit of the mech left to pull his body out of. Um, he did eject. Actually, they both ejected. Um, but you definitely needed to eject. <laughs> there was nothing left. Um, wow. Well, we did what we could do. Um, Unfortunately, he took more damage than he did. He did a little bit more damage than he took. He did pretty good. Um, I took the least amount of damage, but I got I got cored. Uh, I guess I need to do more torso twisty. Uh, yeah, between us, we only managed to kill 13 mechs, which isn't enough, clearly. 
But 3,200 damage, I feel good about that. Like, I don't feel like I, I did a bad job, especially half of my weapons were were uh, Inferno missiles, right? They were there to shut things down, not to do damage. So I think I did fine. Uh, but I think we will probably end the episode here. I'm not sure there's much point in kind of banging our head against the in-game missions unless we're willing to do clan tech stuff. And I'm not a dirty claner, even though in theory our character in here kind of is, at least half dirty claner. Um, so yeah, it is what it is. Thanks for watching us on this one, guys. It's been a lot of fun. I really enjoyed this one. I think it was a good um, self-imposed restriction. I have to think of some more. You got to do stuff to keep the game fresh for you when you, you put this many hours into it. I mean, um, I don't know how many hours I have into it. Let me let me pull it up real fast here. Let's uh, let's uh, flip on display capture. And here, we'll go ahead. I'm going to do a quick save here. Don't know why. I'm not planning on coming back, but you never know. Let's exit out and let's kind of get an idea of... There you go. There's the behind the scenes there. Um, library. What does it say we got? Um, okay. 31 and a half days. Almost exactly. Uh, in this, and I don't know what we've got in the beta. Um, pretty significant. I want to say my beta is another like six or eight days um, worth of hours put into just the beta, screwing around. It, it was it was it won't let you reload it anymore, and you can't see this within um, within Epic unless I don't think I could be wrong though. Hold on, let's let's look. I could be wrong. Um, Cyberpunk, what do we got? Three days? Okay, I put some time into it. Put some time into it, not as much. I do really like Cyberpunk, though. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, Mech Warrior, was this it? Yeah. I think this is the beta. Yeah, closed beta. Yeah, it won't let me, it won't show it to me. That's annoying. Uh, nothing there. Oh, well. Be nice if it did. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Thumbs up, thumbs down. I'm not sure what we're going to do next. I haven't decided. Um, I've got some. I kind of like to play um, maybe some Merc Tech. Maybe we give this one a, a short break um, and play some Battle Tech. Um, you know, we got lots and lots of games in here too. You know, if there's something else you see through here that you're like, man, I really wish he would he would play that. You know, this is obviously just the epic. I've got significantly more on the Steam store, um, but uh, there's definitely a few there's definitely a few options. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Cheers.